add contact form seven submissions to microsoft excel automatically so assume that you have created a form and whenever the form submission is received you want to add those submissions to ms excel now to do that you have two choices either you can manually export the form submission data and import it here again and again on the daily basis or you can automate this process in such a way that whenever the form submission is received the submissions will be added to excel automatically so if you also want to sync your form builder data with excel in real time then come with me and i will show you everything step by step so this is my contact form plugin and this is my excel sheet in which i am about to collect the form responses and here you can notice i have created this inquiry form for interior designing services which i have embedded in this specific page okay so currently i am actually into this pages section and here i have created a page with the name inquiry form for interior designing services and now i will show you this particular form and as soon as i will submit this form you will notice how the submissions will be added automatically to ms excel but for that firstly i'll have to build a connection in contact form 7 and excel application which i am going to do with the help of pabli connect which is an integration and automation software and i'm an existing user so i am already logged in you can also create your free account in pabli connect in just a two minutes from this sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation now once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of pabli connect click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i have directly pasted the name as add contact form 7 submissions to microsoft excel automatically okay now simply click on create and then you will notice two boxes so these boxes are called as trigger and action and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so when something happen in the first application then automatically do this in the next application okay so this is how you need to always select the application in this trigger and the action window in which you are building an automation okay so according to our use case we want that whenever any new form submission is received in this contact form 7 application then automatically send the form submission data in microsoft excel application okay so i have selected both the applications in this trigger and the action window okay and now the idea here is i'm going to connect these two applications one by one with the pabli connect okay so let us first connect a contact form with the pabli connect so here firstly you will have to select the trigger even that is new form submission okay so yes i want to perform the same that whenever any new form submission is received in my contact form 7 this automation should trigger or we can say the data of form submission should be captured via public connect okay so instructions for the same are already given here that how with the help of this webhook url you can build a connection in contact form 7 and public connect okay and as soon as i have copied this url here you can notice it has already started waiting for the webhook response okay so let me take you to the dashboard of contact form 7 plugin and here firstly i will edit my form okay and now i will find an option of webhook so that i can paste this webhook url there okay so here you can notice this webhook option is visible here now from where this option has actually came from so basically i have installed this particular plugin okay so as per the instruction i have installed this contact form 7 plugin from the plugin section in the wordpress dashboard okay so either you can directly download this particular plugin from here and then further you can go back to the plugin section of your wordpress okay where is that and after that you can directly click on add a new button and then you can upload the zip file of this particular plugin okay so this is the plugin section and here if i will click on this add a new button it will ask me to upload the zip file of the plugin okay here you can notice this upload option okay but this plugin is already installed in my account okay so how about i directly copy this name and search it here and you will notice the same plugin is already installed and activated in my wordpress website okay i am clicking on this particular plugin okay and yes this is the same plugin okay so how about i check if the same plugin in this installed plugin section okay give me a second 
all right so let me search for the same and did you notice this plugin is already installed and activated now as soon as i click on this deactivate button you will notice that this webhook option will disappear from here okay now i will refresh it in front of you and here you can notice that option has been disabled activating this plugin once again and as soon as i do that uh, I can see that webhook option okay so I have installed I have activated the plugin coming back here and let me refresh and show you how webhook option will appear here okay so assume that you want to collect the responses of this specific form so that is why uh, you will have to open that form and click on the webhook option and here exactly you will have to paste the URL which you have received via public connect okay so I have already copied this webhook URL coming back to my contact form 7 plugin let me paste the same webhook url do not forget to check this send to webhook option okay and now finally i will click on this button save and this is how the connection in contact form 7 and public connect will be successful okay and now i will make a dummy submission in front of you and you will notice as soon as i do that the details will be captured via public connect asking for the first name okay so how about i add the details something like dummy and then use asking for the email address so i will add the email address something like dummy user 123 at the rate pablitudes.com again it is a dummy email address asking for the phone number plus 91988888 and then further 88888 okay so again this is just a dummy contact number asking for the message so we would like to design our restaurant okay let's say i select this restaurant okay and uh, let me also correct this spelling and for that is asking what you would like us to design okay so i'm selecting the same again clicking on the submit button and as soon as the submission is done here you will notice that the response will be received and here you can notice in front of you the response is already arrived okay let me show you the details one by one here you can notice the same name of the person the same message the same email address that is demuser123 at publitwitch.com the same selection and we also have the same dummy number okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in contact form 7 and public connect is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time someone will submit this form the details will be captured via public connect instantly because this trigger inst will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time okay so the first step of our automation is done and now moving further i am going to send the these form submissions to ms excel so the application is already selected simply select the action even that is add a row to the worksheet okay so yes i want to do the same that my worksheet is already created i am going to add a new row and in that new row you will notice how the data will be updated okay so just like we have connected contact form 7 with the public connect now i will connect this microsoft excel with the public connect okay so i have selected this add new connection clicking on this button connect with microsoft excel and then you will have to provide the access of your microsoft excel account okay but i'm already logged in in my microsoft excel account so instead of asking me the access it is directly asking me for the permission so i have provided the same and now you will notice how the authorization will be successful and how my microsoft excel account will be immediately connected with the public connect and here you can notice we are connected and because we are connected whatever the workbooks i have created in my excel account have started visible here and among all these workbooks i'll go with this inquiries received via form submission okay so let me search for the same that is inquiries received via form submission okay so i have selected the same and in the worksheet because i have a single sheet only so again it will be selected automatically and now I as soon as you select your workbook here you will notice that whatever the columns you have added inside your excel sheet the same columns will be fetched up via public connect here automatically okay so i'll show you here we have the first name email contact number your message and what you would like 
us to design okay it should be us not is okay i'm really sorry for that okay coming back to public connected dashboard and here you can notice the same column that is first name email contact number your message and what you would like us to design okay so it is still showing is okay so i just need to one thing click on this refresh to fetch new items and in this way the updated data will be fetched up here automatically and now i'll show you how that spelling will be corrected here all right so here you can notice it is showing what you would like us to design okay and now you tell me from where i will provide these details remember we have already captured these detail into our previous step response and the interesting thing here is i am not going to manually copy this data and paste it here one by one again and again okay i am going to map this data and mapping is very simple click on this field and you will find the above data here in the drop down okay i have selected the same and in the same way i will map other fields also like it is asking for the email address let me perform the same and you must be thinking that what is this mapping which i am repeating again and again in front of you so whatever the details i'm mapping here these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time or in next time yes i'm repeating this thing once again that as soon as a new form submission is received via contact form the details will be captured via public connect instantly first and that new detail will replace this existing data because we are mapping but just in case if i will provide any value manually here that value will remain same for every form submission okay so this is the difference in providing the values via mapping and in providing the values manually okay so i think i have provided all the details how about i click on the save and send test request button and firstly i will wait for the response to receive and if that response is positive that means the data has been updated so here you can notice the response is received going back to my excel sheet and let me refresh it and wait wait for that data to be updated here automatically and here you can notice the same person with same email address with same phone number and with same message every detail are here actually added automatically in our excel sheet with the help of pably connect okay so in this way now onwards you can sync your contact form 7 submissions with ms excel automatically so basically you need to create this automation inside pably connect for once only and after that you can sit back and relax because pably connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually okay and just in case if you want to access this two step automation inside your own pably connect account i will also attach the link of my workflow into the description box so simply click on this link okay i'm really sorry i have clicked on the clone okay so let me open my workflow once again okay so if you want to access the same workflow inside your own pably connect account i will also attach the link of my workflow into the description box so simply click on this link and then sign up for free into the pably connect and then you will be able to access the same workflow inside your own pably connect account that too for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pably connect you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pably connect and for the latest updates of pably connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video